we've been looking at the life of Joseph from last Sunday. And I told you we will be asking questions as we look at his life. The question we asked ourselves last Sunday was, why were you born? And we were seeking for purpose. What is your purpose? And for Joseph, his purpose was found in Genesis 50 and verse 20. He says, I came here so that I can save life. That was the purpose of Joseph, whatever he went through. Because after he saved the people, the rest of Joseph's story is shortened to a very few sentences. After, and, but yet from 37 to 50, there is a lot of movement about Joseph. But immediately he serves his purpose. Then the story of Joseph is condensed and very soon we hear he is not, he's no more. So who, why am I born was my purpose. And today we are looking, do you know you, who you are? Do you know who you are? So one is purpose, the other one is identity. So today we want to know who we, what is our identity. Because once you know your identity, friends, your life will never be the same again. When you know your identity. So the question we are asking ourselves is, do you know who you are? And I made a mistake to say how many principles I was going to give in the first service. And I did not finish. So I want to be wise. I will tell you, not the principles, the many. But so that when we finish, you think we'll have finished in the right place. So that I don't have, uh, I will not uh, be guilty. But if you read Genesis 39, is where we are finding the story of Joseph from now. And he will be answering the question, he knows who he is. But we are asking ourselves, do you know who you are? Joseph hated and loved in equal measure by his brothers. Joseph thrown into a pit so that he can die. Joseph sold into slave merchants. And slave merchant sells Joseph to Potiphar. And Potiphar's wife puts Joseph into prison. And in prison, Joseph walks into the palace and he becomes a prime minister. Actually, if you like, Joseph has become twice a prime minister. Because, and the prime minister in Joseph's life is more. Actually, he is everything. He, he becomes Pharaoh apart from certain issues, but he became Pharaoh. In Potiphar's life, he became Potiphar's apart from a few things, but he was in charge of everything. So in the book of Genesis 39, start by saying this, if we were if we to be put on the screen, we read two verses, verse 1 and 2. Genesis chapter 39, verse 1 and 2. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, a captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down there. Verse number 2. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. And Joseph, because the Lord was with him, he became a blessing to his, the men that had bought him. He was a slave, but he became a blessing. Everything he touched prospers. And the Bible talks about the Lord was with Joseph in chapter 39, five times, meaning that is the key. The key for anything that happens in, va in chapter 39, the key is that the Lord was with Joseph. Even for you, up to where you are, actually, the Lord has been with you. If it was not the Lord, you wouldn't be here. So it's always good to know, why do I exist? I know my purpose. My purpose, I know. But I also want to declare I have, a, I have an identity. I'm not just anything. I have an identity. If you ask your, the person next to you, who are you? Would you try that? Ask them, who are you? Let them tell you who they are. If they tell you their names, they did not get the question. Who are you? We don't want your name, but who are you? You see, you could be sitting next to a CEO and uh, you are looking for a job. So after they tell you, you pass on your application for unemployment or something. 
So who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I, you know, I, I, there are people who say, no, this is a preacher. Bishop Kemani is a preacher who happens to be a Christian. And you know, I would rather we say this one, this way. This is a Christian. Jimmy is a Christian who happens to be a preacher. Because preaching is not as important as my, my identity. So who am I? What tickles? What pushes me? What, what helps me? Uh, what, what, what do people know me about? How would they identify me? You know, in some of your phone, I know you have written, Karaja Wanyama, you know, butcher, you know. <laughs> because you have so many Karanjas, so that you want to know who, you, you know, who is he. You have identified them. Oh, I don't know what you have said about me. You know, well, Bishop, the whatever, whatever title you have called me. Because you have so many bishops that are called Kemani. And, and so on. You know, in, in my phone, I have written very many people. Hata kuna moja niriandika jina mbaka my wife can uliza. Are you serious? Because I said so and so, Mogoroki. <laughs> and... Uh, we that are married, our wives, by the grace of God, they like looking at our phones. <laughs> because our phones are okay. They are good. They are awesome. Men, men in the house. I hope, sisters, you are not looking for anything. You want to see the good things that happen there. So, the, the, in my house, the joke is, Tarehezi Mweriaito. If you hear them where you eat, where do you think that one is? Is the one I carry. <laughs> so in your phone you could, you know, many, many things that you write, I hope. So anyway, that lady who I called Moguruki was really Moguruki. You know, somebody who can call you and just tell you stories that are not true. For example, Bishop. This man has my 225 billion and trillion, and all of them I was given by my husband, who was a German, you know, German, he was a German, and you know, and so on. And this guy is a local. But in his mind, she is married to a German tycoon who has left a lot of money. So she wants to send me to one of that person who happens to be in the church. Sasa nikatafuta huyo nikakuta hakuna huyo mtu hapa a Germany. Kwa hivyo nikaandika But when Alice challenged me nilimtoa. Nikasema vile mnasema mnasema ni mna gani? Left. <laughs> so and so left. So who are you? Who are you? How can they identify you? You see, I, I've always said that I, I appreciate the Muslims because they are not ashamed to pray five times in a day. Actually, in all the airports, Christians, we travel. But Christians don't make use of the chapels that are in the airports. But the Muslims will do it. Let, can I surprise you? We are in there. We are leaving London. We are heading to US. At a certain time, at where the toilets are, you will find them with a kamukeka. They have to do it. They are not embarrassed. And yet the plane could have about 80% Christians who did not even pray for the meal when the meal was brought to them. Kwanza kukanyanga tu. Rafu huko Dani anasema na mungu si unaelewago hii mambo. Yesterday I went to the airport and I was going to pick Mbogo Njoroge. And he was coming from Eldoret. But so where I parked, on the pavement, the parking, there was a Muslim ameweka kitamba, anaomba. Hapo. Mbika migu yake vizuri, anaenda chini. Anaenda chini. They are, not, they are not, who are they? Now, for them, their names, it is so and so a Muslim than a Kenyan. But first, 
a Muslim. Not a Kenyan who happens to be a Muslim, but a Muslim who is a Kenyan. I hope I'm changing your theology now. That you should be a Christian who happens to be a Kenyan so that you answer first to your Christianity than you answer to your call of nationality. That is critical. If we want to change the world, we have to be identified with who Christ is. We become Christians first. Because that is where we are going to get our help from. So until you know who you are, until you know who you are, you will never know where you fit in the purposes of God. But once you know, then you can fit anywhere because you'll be a Christian for the Lord anywhere. There is a lady I know. They worked with Alice in the University of Nairobi. She's in the U.S. But that girl has maintained her Christian walk with the Lord with all the temptations. You know, U.S. And some of you want to go to U.S. May God help you to know your identity. In one of my travel, I land in Boston and we are walking with someone and those are the days that I was so saved I would not take Red Bull. Pombei. Sikunwe. Sikunwe Pombe. So here we are and with my friend and he tells me when Bishop Mark comes here I normally take him here he takes a Red Bull. He said Red Bull maybe Sikunwe Gio Ni Pombe said, no, let's just go and you see. So I took it and I looked at it and, and I saw it was an energy drink. Bwana nika sema, imi akayote. So nika piga kamoja. Kaskia nika kakatu, lakini nika piga tu anyway. When we were coming out from that uh, station, it is a gas station, I'm a petrol station. Iko na selection, kana ito a service store. Service, self-service, whatever. Who do I meet? A man we used to preach with here. So I was so excited. So was he. But akona nani? Akona mke mwingine kwa gari. Akona mwana mke mwingine. So si tunafra, mimi sikuwa na, na ohinga. Na salimia ina kifua. Na mwabia dugu bwana asifiwe. It's good to see you. Nikaenda bra 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 ile tunaidaga kama kameme kamewekwa mae mpya. Nikahoshoka. Wakaenda. Huyu pastor tulikuwa naye kanepa. Unamjua huyo? Eh, namjua. Dugu mzuri sana hata mke wake anaweza kukuonesha hapo Nairobi. Eh, huyo dugu kanepa. Ati? Mke wake. Hello? Uyo walikuwa nae ni mke wake. Habia apana? Nikapewa story. Atikule mombi unaweza walewa na mtu mwingine. Ili upewe makaratasi ya kukaa huko. Ujijue wewe ni nani? Who am I? Who am I? Because once you know that I am a Christian who happens to be in America at a certain time but who is going to heaven who am I because once I know who I am my identity everywhere I find myself I will behave like a Christian Daniel Shadrach Meshach and Abednego the meat that you are given was good some of you if you are given that meat you will enjoy utaoiga mikono ili urarue nyama na mbavu na kadhalika but these guys looked at him and asked, isn't it a nini? They were told, he's in this otunapeaga miungu ya sanamu. They said, no way. We will not have it. We will not take it. But you try our God. Give us leaves. Give us leaves. Zukuma wiki na mboga na morenda. Give us that for 10 days. Do you know 10 days meant a lot? Because God was involved. He did not only change their continents, but he also changed their wisdom. They got wisdom and knowledge. Because they knew who they are. Daniel knew who he was. And it did not matter. He, he served four kings. 
Because every king who came, Daniel came into hell. But they tried to kill him. But Daniel stood for God. Know who you are. Know who you are. So we pick the story of Joseph. Joseph, innocent. And the family of Fortify is blessed. Joseph becomes the number one as far as the business was concerned as Potiphar served the king. He was allowed to do anything and everything he tried, it prospers. Me, sometimes I imagine, I go crazy in my imagination. I think he went and told the Potiphar, Tuanze Muradi wa kuku. They started kuku zikaja. Wow. Tuanze Muradi wa ngombe. Ngombe zikaja. Maziwa ni mingeni. Everything he touched prospers. Until Potiphar did not worry about anything in his house. He was busy doing whatever he was doing. But there was a lady in the house. We are not given her name. We only call it as Mrs. Potiphar. And Mrs. Potiphar can be anyone who is looking at you, seeking for ways to bring you down. They are observing the hand of God upon you. They are seeing what God is doing. But they want to bring you down. There are situations and circumstances watching you as you prosper because they want to bring you down. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So here Joseph is doing his things and the Bible says, as he went forth, back and forth, the lady observed and saw him. And it took time as he observed and sin was cropping in. Do you know those people who sleep with their house helps don't wake up one day and sleep with them? No. Nope. They observe. And all of a sudden it's like when sin creeps in, it's like, ah, we make work why nyumba. It it doesn't just happen once. And I normally say this. I work with the better. The day I see better is becoming more beautiful. I have to rebuke that spirit. Because it will take me to hell. Better should be my sister working and serving with me. Period. So this lady looked at Joseph and felt like they wa he, she wanted to sleep with Joseph. And, and she tried many times. That's what the Bible says. And I want to give you four principles that can help you when you get tempted. Did I say four? <laughs> Whew. Okay. How many people here get tempted? Look at your neighbor. Come on, you know, you can't be a baby. You can't be a We all get tempted. And our temptations are different, actually. Since you come out, you can't be a gongo. I'm a mali pengine. I'm a mutu. I'm a koja kawambia. Kuna dawa, muzea na peanaga dawa. Inaponya magojwa yote. Kwa sabu ulienda pale. Ulikuwa na ugonjwa fulani ukapona. Sasa unaambia kila mtu waende ya peo mitishamba. Akorogewe kidogo kwa sababu atapona. But you see ugonjwa wako na wangu sido si. Hata siyo hivyo tu. Kuna wengine hapa ukipewa piriton. Unaanza kulala. Wengine tukipewa piriton. Si ya usingizi. Ni ya mambo ingine. Are you getting the point? Kuna wengine ukipewa argumentin. Hai kusaidi, kumeza tuna inatoka tu, unataka kadawa kegine. Kuna wengine ukinywa pana do, hiyo ugonjwa after one hour. Hiyo maumivu, kuna wengine ukinywa pana do, hata after. Bado unataka kadawa ke. Am I, am I saying something to somebody? So, dawa ya, yako, sio yangu, nisita kunywa yako. Na majaribio na huwa hivyo, majaribio ni mengi. Just like we are seated here. Majaribio ni mengi. Kuna mtu anatazama hivi anapenda tai yangu. Majaribio yake ni ya tai. I wish I know you. Ningekupatia tai hii saa hii tu. 
So there are some of us majaribio yetu ni wale tumekaa nao unasikia kaharufu kake kale kama nukato I, I wish they know that tunapenda hiyo akutetea kupatie ili usianguke katika majaribio ya vitu ambavyo tunaweza saidiana so temptation ni nyingi but if i know myself then what will i do when these things happen principle number one, when things are going very well be on guard because some of the temptation don't show up until you are doing very well when your family is doing very well all of a sudden misunderstanding we even don't know where the devil came from have you ever heard that hata tujua aliingilia wapi sisi tulikuwa tumependana hani hani sweet hani 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 you know okay nini sijui nini matuda yote yale yanaweza kuwa mazuri hapo na kadhalika mnaitana and all of a sudden wewe ulitoka dunia gani ni nini ilinishika you know those kind of things you know but it is after you have been there together for a long time but all of a sudden the devil comes but he only comes when you are prospering wandugu kabla hujapata gari mlikuwa mnapendana na sasa na mke wako sana kwa sababu mlikuwa mkiana na matatu sasa umepata gari ni yako na mmenunua pamoja ama wengine mke wako ndiye amekopa loan lakini hata kuguza aguzagi gari ya nani gari yangu majaribio na ni kitu bwana amewapatia gari you know so what you need when things are going well be on guard it is good because when joseph was doing very well when joseph was doing very well there were good things happening around him he was number number one in Potiphar's house he was everything in Potiphar's house and then immediately the devil shows up so that he can bring him down it is when you are doing so well be on guard but because joseph knew himself because the fact that he has done very well joseph knew himself and he was on guard blessed be the name of the lord away from home a slave in egypt his brothers had abandoned him his father thinks he's dead but the bible says the lord was with joseph and he knew it that fact makes the difference when we know that the lord is with us so the story of joseph battling with a sexual temptation with potiphar's wife could not bring him down why because the lord was with him and he knew it he knew it he knew that the lord was with him and he knew he cannot fall into sin he was a hebrew slave yes but he could not go down beyond being a slave i'm a slave okay but i will not sin again as god and again as my boss why he couldn't fall is because he honored his boss you honor your family he honored god you honor god you will not fall into some of those temptation of even stealing money that has been given to you somebody wrote and said i can resist anything except temptation because temptation is there but we can resist it tell your neighbor we can resist it cs lewis says this no man knows how bad he is until he's tried on that level you don't know how bad it is a man goes to jesus and he tells jesus what must i do well he was smiling oh he was happy uh, jesus what can i do to inherit the kingdom of god he, he, you know and jesus tells him now you have to keep all the commandments i think this guy says oh all the commandments i have kept them since i was a baby and jesus looking through this man he saw it he saw it the guy was right he was faithful but then the lord looked beyond him and he said there is one thing in him that he was still holding one thing he was told by jesus there is one thing that you need to do and that is release your finances release it release it and the guy was so mad the guy went home so sad because he was holding on to it he was not sold out to the lord one thing one thing temptations started in the garden of eden and even now is still there what is temptation temptation is the inner urge to do wrong that hits us in the place of our own personal 
weakness. Temptation is the inner urge to do wrong that hits us in the place of our own personal weakness. Well, the stimulus can come from outside. The urge comes from the inside. And we can blame everybody. We can blame everybody. We can blame everybody. Husband can blame their wives. That's why I fell into this sin and so on and so forth. We can even blame our DNA. The village I was born in and karate has no problem with that. But it is myself when I get into that serious condition. So when things are right, be on guard. The scene is the royal court of Egypt. And this guy has left everything to Joseph. And Joseph knows that he is doing well. And Joseph knows he has to please God and nobody else. And Joseph knows that everything that Potiphar's had was in him. He knew that and he honored that. But the Lord was with Joseph. And he prospered. Listen to this verse 2 to 4. The Lord was with Joseph and he prospered. And he lived in the house of the Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him, the Lord was with him. And the Lord gave him success in everything. Joseph made everything in Potiphar to be well. And Potiphar is not dummy. Potiphar is not stupid. He knows where his blessing is coming from. And so he released everything to him. So from the time he put him in charge, verse number 5, in charge of his household, the Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian man. And I don't know where the wife was, but I would think she was just around. She saw it. She saw what the Lord was doing. And the devil entered into her so that the devil can bring Joseph down. Let me say this. There is no contradiction here between God's blessing and our temptation. But they go together. They go together. Kuna barikiwa, majaribiwa. Kuna barikiwa, majaribiwa. Kwa hivyo ukijua kuna majaribiwa, sasa lazima ukai chonjo. Amen? Any blessing you get, kuna watu wana, wanaachana after they get grandchildren. Sine kuambie tu? Kwa sababu mama anaanza kuwa na grandchildren zaidi ya bwana yake. Na unajua tu then netu tikaguo. Kamuse kanaachwa, mama anaenda Amerika kushika tutoto twa tumezaliwa huko, tochocho tumezaliwa huko. I know you are getting what I'm saying. Na kama kuna, and I don't know, sisi wazea tuwezagi kutebea. Niede nitebere kijana wangu na ikuru, nikae kwake wiki biri, niede nitebere msichana wangu kisumu, nikae wiki tatu, huyo mwingine nitebere yako nyeri, nikae nae wiki biri. Lakini mama wanawezaga hizo story. Naweza toka nyumbani, awacha mzee pale. <laughs> Kuna mzee moja alitumana Amerika akasema, mumu ile oke okay, kode guka ikale ni ngoge onge. And the guy, the, the, the guy is 70 something. But he got to a place, he says, Kama hakuji, hakai. Kwa sababu kule nako, anashogia tutoto, na muzea kienda, anashogia maramoja, anaigia dege ya narudi. Unajua sisi ya tushogia sana, kushogia kidogo, alafu tunaenda. When you are blessed with anything, temptations will come. Even you that are getting married tomorrow or Saturday, Immediately you get married, temptation that are related to marriage come. When you get promotion, when you get popular, when your dreams start to come to pass, watch out, be careful. Take nothing for granted because the devil will try to tempt you. The devil will try to tempt you. So number one, when things are going well, be on guard. Number two, when you are tempted, remember who you are. It is exactly at this point when Joseph seems to be sitting on the top of the world, then a, a new character enters into this story. 
she comes in. After a while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, come to bed with me. Come to bed with me. That's what the lady says. But Joseph is quick. And he knows why he cannot do that. He has an answer to that. Do you have an answer to that? Joseph looks at town there. He says, no, I cannot do it. Why? Because your husband has made me in charge. He has made me master. He doesn't concern himself with anything in the house. Everything he owns, he has extracted to my care. No one is greater in this house than me. My master has withheld nothing from me except you because you are his wife. Joseph knew who he was. It is when you know who you are in whatever situation, then you can speak into that situation. Sikuchukui wewe pesa. Mimi nimeandikwa hapa na nimeandikwa kama mtu wa kuhesabu pesa. Si zangu ni makaratasi. Unapeana zote. Kusichukui na mheshimu aliyeniajiri. Temptations will come, but once you know yourself, Joseph knows himself, you know, I cannot, I am born again, I'm a Christian, I love the Lord. I will not touch it, I will not touch you. Everything else has been given to me apart from you. Secondly, this is what he says, if you're looking at the scriptures, it's verse 8 and verse 9b. Number two, he says, how then can I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? He knew anything to do contrary was to sin against God, not people. You know, once you know yourself that you're not sinning against anyone, you are sinning against God, then you'll be careful in whatever situation you find yourself. You will honor God. Joseph honored his employer. Joseph honored God. Do you know yourself? If you know yourself, when you are tempted, you will remember who you are. Daniel remembered who they were, and they could not fall into, into sin. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And it doesn't matter what people say, because people can say many things. People can try even to make it feel like it's okay. But if it is wrong, like, like Joseph, Joseph goes to the Bible. He says, no, 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 no. I cannot do this wickedness. I cannot sin against God. It doesn't matter what you call it. You can call it an affair. You can call it a flink. You can call it one night out. You can call, call it making love. Whatever you call it, if it is sin, wickedness against God it is. We, we are moving from one place to another from Boston. We are given a lift by someone. Actually, a taxi, a, a Uber, if you like. But he's a Kenyan. So we are speaking the language. Actually, he's a Kikuyu. May God bless the Kikuyus that are using Uber. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That ticket aside. Delete that one. So the guy is driving us, and we started talking, and uh, we asked him, when did you come, and how has America been? And he was so honest. He said, Bishop, the day I landed here, I came with green papers for myself and my family. He moved there with the whole family, and he had the children. Then he got employed because he's an, a, a, a vehicle mechanic. He was employed by a Toyota. I almost say Toyota Kenya. He was employed by a Toyota Yauko to service the vehicles. And there was also another a lady there also working in that company as a sale she was in the cell department. When they were having lunch, she started complaining of stomach problem. That tumbo, 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 tumbo. She complained it one day, the second day, the third day. The brother, because he was born again, spirit filled, guy who works in miracles, he believed God can heal. He said, "Can I pray for you?" The lady said, "Yes." So lunch hour, I'll pray for you. We'll go out there on the field. I love that. I'm not praying for you in the darkness. Up there in the field. So after lunch, they walk to the field and the brother, lo and behold, Wekeleas, this woman, Mukono, Kwatumbo, rebukes the pain and whatever in Jesus' name. And the lady, after a few hours at evening, she felt very well. 
she was okay. She was healed. So she went home and told her parents, I am healed. She was asked, what happened? There is a man from Africa who prayed for me and I got healed. Bring him home. So the African was brought home. But this was the introduction. Mom, meet my new boyfriend. <laughs> so the guy says, what? Yeah, meet my new boyfriend. When they left, the, boy, the man is asking, me, your boyfriend? Yeah. What is wrong with that? We hang around. We enjoy each other. You know? The guy says, but I'm married. And the lady, the lady Muzungu tells her, so what? <laughs> so what? What, what, is, what is the big deal? See, we hang out. We enjoy each other. You are my boyfriend. Ukinikata, I will make sure my foot will happen. Try it. So the brother, for a couple of days, he was wondering, Sasa nitafanya nini? The Lord gave him a wisdom. May God give you some wisdom like he did Joseph. Because you know when temptation come, remember, who are you? He said, can I invite you home also? So he invited the girl home. And he told the wife, kaugari kazuri. Kanyumbani, kaugari na tusukuma wiki, na kasamaki hivi, na tuboga hivi, na mchicha, kito oktogo hivi. So when the lady came, it ended there. The boyfriend issue ended there. Just seeing the fa some of you, if you want a miracle to happen, introduce your wife or introduce your husband. Now you jamame kuwa kikufuata. When gine munakatu munataku kurira guze, you know here, you know here. You know, at iyo pete, iyo pete ni akole wa pana, iyo pete, kuna jamali kwa meniweka rakini. Nina iwekaga hapo kwa nini, apana, usicheza na moto. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you are tempted, remember who you are. Because when you know who you are, you will not be like these hyenas that got saved. Shadrach, one hyena was baptized, Shadrach. Because after you get saved, you know, baptized. So they were baptized. Mode kaitwa Shadrach, Gide kaitwa Badinego, Gide kaitwa Besheki. Yo story ni risikia kwetu na wakulinu. Ikuwa moto sana, miaka hile ya zamani. Bado niko nayo. In the 70s. So wakambiwa, musikule nyama ambayo imekufa. Msoga, mkiona msoga, musikule. Mumeokoka wakasama diyo. Mumeokoka diyo. Bas. Fisi wakatoka revival meeting wakienda nyumbani. Wakakuta musoga. Wakasema, shadiraka. Yo. Umeokoka? Eh. Hiyo siku ya kwanza wakaenda nyumbani. Waliporudi Shadra kakawachu wa nyuma. Meisha kina abadine kwa wakaenda bere. Sasa Shadra kalipofika kwa ule msoga. Akauliza. Shadra, umeokoka? Eh. Arafu wakaguza. Shadra, umeokoka? Eh. Akapasua kidogo. Akauma. Shadrach, umeokoka. Eh. Usifanya hivyo. Kwa sababu, yuli alikuwa kijibu, ni yuli alikuwa kifanya dhambi. You, you are the same judge and you are calling yourself. You know. Know yourself. You know, I've heard of people that would say, hey, uyo na ukiyo na vire na dhambi nyingi. Aki ubiri, ako na anointing. Mugoje tu, because the word of God inapotoka lazima ifanya kazi ya kasiyo. Lakini huyu ata ukumiwa. May God have mercy upon us. When you are tempted, remember who you are. Number three. When you are tempted, act fast. Tell your neighbor, when you are tempted, act fast. Actually, would rather you act fast than you ask so what? After you have gone. But don't, you don't, don't stand there. Shadrach. Shadrach. You know, Shadrach, run away from this temptation. Run away from it. Because what Joseph did, he, he discovered there are some demons you can tell them I rebuke you. And they go away. But sexual demon, you cannot rebuke it. You have to run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
Eh? Kuna pepo, pepo, pepo ya uzinzi hata wiki ikemea. Mesikia watu wakisema, alinishika, nikasikia nitoe lakini nikasikia moto hapo. Sema tu, mungu anaweza nisaidia na njia ingine. <laughs> Utaugua tu. Pepo ingine inataka utoe koti, umuachie. Toa hiyo koti, umuachie. Kama ameshika koti, umuachie. Na uzizimame pale, don't stand there kuwagi unayeye. Kwa thawa kama umuacha koti, hauna kitu ingine ukishikuwa jimu. So act first. When tempted, do what? Act first. Remember who you are and act very fast. Run away if you can in the name of the Lord. Sasa kwa sawa nilikuwa nimesema kuna ingine. Wacha tu niseme kuna ingine. Kuna kengine kamocha. You see, if I go back to, 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 to point number three, to, 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 to act fast, Joseph could have justified himself with this couple of justifications. Number one, he would have said, we are alone. Because that's what the Bible says, they were just alone. alone. So the truth of the matter is, they were alone. Joseph could also have said, Mimi, si mimi nirifanya, ni yali nifanya. Yeah, she made me do it. That could also be true. Yani, circumstance. Vile mtu anasema, hata sikuwa ni kitaka, ni yeya, ni ni, you know, no, and so on. Number three, could be, no one else will know. That could be probably true, but it is not true. Why? Because God is seeing it. And you are also seeing it. Maybe she would have said, I deserve it. But that's not true. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve to sleep with somebody's wife. He would have justified like a Kenyan and said, everybody is doing it. What is everybody doing? Oh, everybody. It is not true. That's a lie. I told the first service there was a young man who came here. And he wanted to sleep with every girl in this youth, in my youth group. Every one of them. I'm sure he slept with one. But when he tried to sleep with another, she came to me. She said, Pastor, u jamaa, u si mzuri. Anatusidikisha rakini kutusidikisha anataka kuigia tatunyuba tuetu. U yu si mzuri. Nikamuliza amefanya nini? Huyu jamaa anatuambia amerada na kila mtu. Amerada na huyu, amerada na huyu. Nikamwambia ni urongo. Nataka kulala na wewe. Tukaita kijana, tukadil na yeye na kaenda. Hayuko sasa. Yudhi wangu ni wazuri. Hakuna. Na tukijua yuko, tutadil na yeye pia. Hmm? Tutadil na yeye pia. So people can give those excuses. Oh, God will understand, you know, and so on and so forth. Oh, I'm a, I'm a single boy and I know I have needs also and so on and so forth. Don't look for justification. Just know who you are and act fast. When you do right, this is the, the, the last uh, principle, when you do right, don't expect a reward. Actually, when you do right, expect things to happen your way. But be courteous, be cautious, and be courageous. Because it might take you to speed out, to get out from where you are to your safety. He left the garment with her. It's not time to talk. It is time to run away. It's not time to just sit around and have a conversation. It's time to go. There is time to walk, but there is also time to run away. May God help us to know when to do it. How many people love Ken Rogers? Ken Rogers ni John too. Kwa sababu naona nyinyi mnajua nyimbo zingi ni zenu mpya. Ken Rogers ni waimbaji wale na 70s. Ken Rogers country country and I'm back my country, my country music. 
He has sung a song that I like listening. Hajaokoka. But he sings a song and he says this. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. And know when to run. Sita imba. But Ken Roger says, when you go to Nicarata, when you go to the table and you're, you're whatever, he says, you have to know certain things. You don't count your money when the deal is on. You don't count it. But what you need to know, you, you need to know a few things. Number one, you need to know when to hold the money. Two, you need to know when to fold it. Then when to walk away. And then when to run. Because, you have to know. Friends, I use Ken Rogers to tell you something. That even you when you are tempted, you have to know those things. When to walk and when to run. You do the right thing. You think people will say, oh, this was a good man. No. She makes a false accusation. You don't stand there to justify. Run. He is in prison. He has nobody. He was a, he was a slave. He had no right. So he goes in. Don't stand and wait for people to say, by the way, this was a good worker. Let me tell you this. Even where you are employed, can I be honest with you? Utafutwa siku moja kwa makosa moja. Lakini umefanya kazi miaka mingi na umefanya vizuri. Hawata kumbuka. Kwanza hawaongeagi uzuri. Wanaongeaga huyu ni mwizi sana. Na ni shiringi tu elfu bili zilipoterea umu umu. Na umefanya kampuni miaka mingi. Hata Joseph akawekwa kwa jela. So when you do things right, don't expect a reward from them. But no, when I do it right, God is seeing and God will deliver God will set me free. God will cause me to go to my purpose. Remember, he discovered his purpose at when he came out of prison. Genesis 50 verse 20. He had to go to prison so that he can rise to his purpose. May God help us to know that wherever I am, it will not stop me from fulfilling my purpose. But I need to know myself. Do you know yourself? Do you know yourself? Because once you know yourself, whatever situation you find yourself, you walk clean, you walk free in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to ask you to stand up. Oh, I took a little more of your time. But you know what? I think it is all proper. We need to do one more worship again. Remember what I told you? Me, I don't want to, I don't want to block the bride. Me, I'm only a master of ceremony. We need all to see the bride. Tuone, tuone Yesu. Tuone Yesu. Tuone Yesu. Whatever we do, let's see Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hey. Na bado nyimbo zangu wazijarudi zile nilikuwa nikiimba. Bado nasikia kawimba wako. Tukako, tukawimba wako. Anaweza fanya mambo. Male, male. Si male, yale. <laughs> Oh, you can do. And here you are. Maybe in your situation, friend, you're going through those temptations. Even right now, in your mind, you're wondering, what am I going to do tomorrow? Because you are tempted on Friday. There are things that you're trying to make them right. But you see, you came to church. We said, this is where? This is church. And you should leave all our burden here. Take it to the cross and go home free in the name of the Lord. We'll sing it one more time. He will never fail. I want you to lift up your hand. If you know you are in some situation that kweli ni majaribio. Wengine wanajaribiwa na bosi zao, wengine wanajaribiwa na wenyewe. Kuna tupesa hata ulichukua kwa sababu uliona ni twingi. You know the way you can be given money na ukaona ni nyingi. Lakini hujaiba. Bado umewacha kwa ofisi uliyehesabu ukaona ni nyingi. Sasa bado unakuwa tempted utafanya nini nazo? Ukirudi kesho, rudisha. Remember, you need to know how, when to walk and when to run away. 
This is the time to walk when you can. Don't blame anybody when you fall into sin. Let's sing and pray together.